Firstly, it's a Dion Mayer book. Done. You got me. I remember when I first read the script, I, I couldn't put it down. And if I did put it down, I would wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning to carry on reading because it was just, it was riveting. I think that Dion has actually taken real blood samples of what South Africa is. And these characters, it's a melting pot of all these people. Also, you don't trust me now, eh? I knew for a fact that it's something that, that I wanted to be part of because it's got such a complex story that keeps you hooked. There are definitely some unexpected twists and turns in the story. And that's the beauty of it. It's, it's, it's truthful. That's where the magic lies for me, and I think a lot of people will be able to, to um, relate. It's bigger than the both of us. It is the biggest SATV production that's ever been made, and we've done some really, really cool stuff. I give you my word. Yeah, it's been a fantastic journey. It was an amazing experience. It's been incredible. It's been a privilege. My favorite episode. I won't give anything away. I'm not going to say anything more, but it was epic. Sure. Track ah, I know it. I know it. I know it. Like, you know, I, yeah. I caught that at home, but like I caught it in the middle. So I thought, no, those ladies are now coming on the Hollywood. I was like, yes, yeah. SA Girls Shine. Then I'm like, no, this is an actual South African production. Straight up. That's amazing, Straight man. Up. Straight up. I'm sure this is different than any production that you have ever done because DSTV is saying that this is different than any production they've ever done. Mm. So talk to me about mm. it. What was it Every, like? What should yeah. we expect? Every production is different. That's first and foremost. Mm -hmm. But this, I think, this is the biggest scale that I've ever sort of stepped onto. You know, it's a big production. It's a co-production between different countries. You've got mm. actors from Germany, America. Of course, the lead cast is South African. Mm. It's a Dion Mayer book. He's a South African um, author who's got, who writes one of the biggest, highest selling books across the world. Mm. And the adaptation on its own is like already epic. Yeah. And then the investment put behind it, us actually shooting it throughout Cape Town, throughout parts of our country, committing to every scene, to every character, to every location. I don't think I've ever seen South Africa like this on screen. Mm. Um, and I don't think I've ever felt such a synergy between cast members. I'm blessed enough to always be on great sets, but this one, had that magic in it, you know, yes. like you could feel it like every every time we got on, um, we knew we were making something. I don't think I've ever had anybody walk in in a designer outfit and then get onto the floor yeah, to say. talk to somebody. Are you going to talk say. about that you now? Know what I mean? Like I really, really appreciate the mutual respect. So I have a question for you here, but I want to know what that was about because that was a very beautiful moment. You said congratulations, so maybe you know something we don't. Oh, Baba, this is how I greet him um, every time. And it's just the way it is. I can't explain it. Um, but we find ourselves on our knees every time. <coughs> and the congratulations was he has a, a, a song out called Togoza. Togoza Okokona Bumku Togoza Togoza Idozi Yeli Kul Segi Figamina Nizuzi Okokona Bumku Togoza Togoza Idozi Yeli Kul It is on iTunes Togoza so I was congratulating him. And when Hello. when I I go on my knees, it's because I see beyond Unati. Yeah, she's got some magic around <laughs> <Honest> her. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, we're not uh, fortunate here. We're just speaking as friends, as family. That's awesome. Yeah, one day, She's gonna wear the clothes I wear if she's not wearing them already now. Mm. In the form of my corset. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> thank know? you. That's thank that. you. Sure. So when, when Ubaba does that, he's he's not greeting me. He's greeting so me. So was. Ababa Ambanam. Oh. 
So yeah. So let me start with you, Nati, because Aye. it is so important to be brave, true, and strong as a woman in South Africa. So talk to me about that. First of all, just the words and what they mean to you, and then the whole movement that you're putting behind it. I think you've got the, to have the will to do something, and that takes uh, bravery. I think you can't uh, be a person of influence if you're not true to yourself, because then you can't exude your true energy, which is the intention of you just being born. Um, and I think as a woman, we have to be strong to bear the different weather that that, that is thrown upon us to to exalt and to make an example. So 5th of October, East London, I'll see you next week, Saturday. We start there and then we end back in Johannesburg on the 4th of February, uh, 2020, oh. at Nairox Sculpture Park in the Cradle of Humankind. Oh. Mm. That's the vibe I'm on now. Mm. I see you. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, I see you. I'm like, I'm that like is church. so 2020, Amen. babe. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. That is so 2020. And literally Saturday is on a farm as well. So I'm just trying mm. to like break the mold and make it different and make it nice. Nairox and is beautiful Nairox too. is stunning. So so yeah. we start East London, Amberdale Farm, comp your ticket, and then we finish mm. 1st of February 2020 in the cradle of humankind in Africa, where humanity was found. She didn't even need two minutes. Yo, <laughs> I know, Shem.